Hi there, my name is Simeon Neil Asher and the trigger point of the week this week is the quadratus lumborum muscle. Uh, so let's uh, search for the QL, or quadratus lumborum. Um, now this is a really uh, important uh, trigger point muscle for lots of reasons. One of them is that the, the pain map itself is so extensive and so different from the uh, anatomical location of the quadratus lumborum itself. Uh, the QL is a, a short, squat, powerful muscle. It takes its origin from the, the sort of lateral uh, posterior third of the, the iliac crest, some of the sacro um, tuberous ligaments, uh, the ilia lumbar ligaments, and it, and it inserts into the, the lower uh, tr uh, transverse processes of the lower lumbars and into the 12th rib. So the function of the QL is to laterally flex or side bend the body. It's one of those muscles that, that's often engaged in people that have had a, a, a bad acute disc or some kind of list scoliosis where they're listing to one side to compensate for, a, for an underlying sort of uh, lumbar pathology. Um, it is also shares some of the fascia with the iliopsoas anteriorly. Now there are four trigger points in uh, the, the QL. There's the, the upper uh, uh, superficial and the deep. So the superficial uh, upper and lower, and then the deep upper and lower. The, um, I think it's nice to look at the, the muscle also uh, in one of our animations here because it, I think it, it's, it's a great way of sort of understanding how some of the loads on QL can happen. Um, in terms of the referred pain map, it's quite extensive. You can see it, ra it ra radiates uh, into the anterior thigh, into the buttock, and into the sort of lumbar spine, into the low back often confused also with trochanceric bursopathy or trochanceric bursitis. And you can see that it reflects a, a lot of sort of lumbo-pelvic pain. So people that come in with low back pain, the QL is definitely one of those area, one of those muscles to look at in terms of trigger points. Another interesting feature of the QL is that um, it, it's one of the, the muscles to look for if someone's got pain sitting to standing. So that if they've got this kind of a groaning after they've sat for a long time and then they stand up and they can't straighten and they're getting that, that lump, sort of lumbar low back pain, leg pain. QL is definitely one of the, the, the culprits to look for in that, in that regards. Um, so this is the QL. Um, differentially diagnosed this is for lumbar pathologies, spondylolisthesis, spondylarthropathy, spondylosis, sort of degenerative spinal changes. Um, and again, uh, bursitis of the hip uh, and some of the other hip pathologies also uh, present because of this uh, extensive pain pattern, um, anterior thigh pain also. Uh, also just to note some of these kind of uh, abdominal radiations as well that people can sometimes feel. So that's the QL. I hope you found this useful and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Thanks.